Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going to talk about if CTFs are good for learning cybersecurity. So CTFs or capture the flags are basically hacking challenges to learn different uh, methods of pen testing or security in general. You can also learn things like cryptography, uh, OSINT, steganography, forensics, and different types of pen testing like web pen testing or app pen testing. Uh, often it's it's basically like gamification for learning cybersecurity. So to the original question, can you learn cybersecurity from doing CTFs? Definitely yes, but if you want to get a job, you probably need some certifications. There are websites, so like this one I've got open here, Hack the Box, where you can look for jobs. And um, basically companies advertise on this site for people who have completed a certain amount of challenges. And, um, and yeah, they're at like a certain level where they've basically done enough of these uh, activities or challenges to have a certain rank where then they're above other people on the site and they look better to the people who are actually recruiting. Hack the Box is probably the only website that I know of that does this. Um, however, doing CTFs on other websites like the Over the Wire War Games ones, which are pretty cool as well, um, but they're more like Linux based challenges, as well as ones like tryhackme.com, which just has a, a huge range of all different sorts of challenges, are also great for learning uh, different methods of attack. Speaking of tryhackme, there's a link in the description. Uh, if you want to sign up for their service, you can use that referral link and you get some uh, freebies like some additional rooms that usually would cost money. You click on that and you get some of those rooms for free. But yeah, as we can see here back on uh, Hack the Box, there's a penetration tester job in India, a threat hunter slash incident response in any location, security developer in Prague, another pen tester role here in Amsterdam, and yeah, there's there's multiple pages of jobs here. I think it said here before there's 146 jobs currently being advertised on uh, Hack the Box. So I guess if you're sort of looking to get into like bug bounties or pen testing um, as a remote job that you want to do from sort of anywhere, then this is a great website to utilize to then sort of move up in to get a job. You may just be like me though, who uses these websites just for fun and to um, sort of help other people learn that you can use these sort of techniques to get around in the world of cybersecurity. If you're interested as well, uh, on my YouTube channel, which is YouTube forward slash DC Cybersec, there is a playlist on there as well of different uh, capture the flags that I've either completed live or pre-recorded and put up on there. Um, some of them are pretty tricky, like the Seesaw 2015 Forensic uh, Wireshark CTF was quite difficult. This live OSINT one here, which went for almost an entire hour, was also a very tricky CTF to get through. So um, yeah, if you want to sit down and watch uh, me going through those and completing them, um, it's also a good way to learn by watching someone else doing them. You might have seen the other day that I was advertising uh, Try Hack Me's 25 Days of Cybersecurity Challenge and it's still going at the moment so if you want to jump on there and um, have a go at the challenges on there that's a it's a great way to learn um, also with this one you do win some swag like a um, CompTIA security plus voucher uh, which basically is in Australia that's worth like 400 Australian dollars US I think it's like 290 US dollars so I'm um, definitely worth going through and completing these challenges to potentially win a prize. Now, like I was saying before, there are different types of CTFs and the one I found the best for learning Linux is the Over the Wire War Games series. Um, if you want something that's sort of like entry level, just to sort of dip your feet in the, um, I guess, Linux security world, the Over the Wire Bandit ones are definitely the best ones to get through. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of levels to this challenge and it sort of starts from really, really basic um, all the way down to extremely difficult. I've had a few people telling me that I should give uh, the Leviathan one a try, which I've never done before um, because apparently it's 
extremely hard. I, I have no idea if it is or is not, but that's just what I've been told. Anyway, to wrap this video up, is a CTF good for learning cybersecurity practices? Definitely yes. Have a look at those three websites that I was just talking about, hackthebox.eu, overthewire.org, and tryhackme.com. I'll put a link in the description for all of those. And um, yeah, give them a try. They're, they're really fun and you do learn a lot from doing them. It's very much like real world situations. So just be aware of that, that sometimes it can get a little bit too much, but it's very intense for a reason. It's to basically throw you in the deep end and make you learn. So that's all we've got time for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more and comment if you have any questions. Thanks. I'll catch you on the next one.